<laughs> All right, hey guys, how's it going? This is Chris Chen. Intro to Project Joy. Um, okay, basically, this is a part of Project Life Coach, which uh, I've done project portfolio so far, which has been a 10 week video blog about improving uh, work. Uh, and then also did a Project Relax, which was uh, a 10 week journey into, you know, being, taking it easy and living a more, you know, relaxed lifestyle. Uh, now, this is called Project Joy, so it's gonna be about, you know, being happy and stuff. Recently, I've been kind of feeling down and frustrated, so I wanna try to do a 10 week period of, um, you know, kind of experimenting and learning how to become more happy with myself and live life joyously um, despite, you know, throughout whatever. I'm not really sure what it means, so I'm here to find out what it means. Um, also, this is in combination, conjunction with legendbrush.com. So one thing that actually makes me uh, joyous is freaking like uh, marketing and stuff. And there's this one book by Gary Vaynerchuk, this marketing expert. And um, what he talks about is native marketing, meaning um, making sure like if you put content somewhere, it should be related. Basically, I'm just gonna put this on the Legend Brush Facebook page. So to give people an insight on how I work, my lifestyle, who am I besides just an artist, and um, yeah, just, just an experiment. All right, so I'm gonna talk about some name painting I did today. Did a lot of really cool stuff this week. Uh, one of my favorites was this one, uh, Chris, with Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, that was really fun uh, because I've been meaning to do a Guardians of the Galaxy one for a while. And uh, yeah, I did it. Also, been doing a lot of uh, Etsy listings. So been putting a lot of stuff out there with a lot of different themes and really just amping up the quality uh, and paying more attention to that stuff. I've also updated my Facebook page with a new cover photo as well as my Etsy page. I have a new cover photo for Etsy as well and also put a lot of time into revamping legendbrush.com so that it is now um, more user friendly and it's more visual and stuff like that. You can click on something and it'll take you right to the page. So I'm really pretty, I'm pretty happy with that too. Um, I, if you've been a customer for Legend Brush for a while, you may have noticed a price increase. Before, I charged $9 a letter. Now I'm doing $10 a letter. And you know, for from a customer standpoint, I, 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 feel, I would feel like, oh shoot, prices are keep on going up. Why does it keep going up? Oh no. But you know, on the other hand, if I can also say it's a good thing too. Um, so some of the reasons why I'm choosing to increase the price. One is... Um, so I can work less and spend more time on each piece of work. Uh, if you were to look in my paintings, I'm getting a lot more detailed in each work of art. So that's one reason, just quality over quantity. And the second reason is just like, I think it's a great thing that your artwork is getting more and more expensive. When I first started doing uh, name painting, I think I charged $5 a letter. Now I'm charging $10 a letter. And it's just a trend. If you were to buy work from me, um, I'm really confident to say that, hey, it's going to increase in value in the future. Um, another thing I'm doing in terms of marketing is I'm asking for referrals. So I read something called Double Your Freelancing and basically how to get more business. And one thing he, uh, this guy, he talked about was asking for referrals and not after you've done it, but like at the time of buy. I'll have the link below so you can check it out. So now when people um, send me stuff, send me an order, I'll ask them for a referral, it's like an automated email, and when I ship it out, I ask for, hey, please share on your Facebook page, because that's how I get orders and stuff. So, um, yeah, this is something new, because I'm not just sharing with you my artwork, I'm also sharing with you some of my business and marketing strategies. And maybe you'll appreciate it, maybe you won't, I'm trying to be really transparent. Um, there's some clothing companies out there, you know, and now it's kind of trendy. They'll even say like, this is where we got our clothing from, and this is what our cost is, and this is how much we're profiting. So I kind of want to do the same thing. Um, so something I've been saving up for, I've been spending money on, is this safe trip. Uh, basically, I'm going to Florida for a conference. Um, I'm also a theme park designer, so it's a theme entertainment association thing. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm, I'll be like going to Harry Potter World too. Uh, and it's kind of like for research as well as, um, you know, just having some fun, taking a vacation. I think the last two weeks I've been to Disneyland. Uh, just last week I went to Disneyland for Dapper Day with my friend uh, Diana and I had a great time. Um, it was really cool. I usually don't do like Dapper Day because I feel like it's a lot of people, whatever, but I had a great time. You know, I took pictures with some people. It was really fun. 
a lot of great, great costumes and stuff there. Um, another thing, I organized my room. So basically, I took this bookshelf and I moved it to the other side of the room. And I really like how it's looking now. Don't you love it when you clean your room? Another thing is recently I've been reading this book called Total Recall by Arnold Schwarzenegger. I've been wanting to read it for a while. I really like it. Um, yeah, check out this cool bookmark. Um, <laughs> mine. So something I really like about getting books at the library is that it helps me read faster because you can you borrow from the library for three weeks and you can renew it if you want. But it's like you try to read the book within three weeks and you know you have to return it. So it, if you if you bought the book, then there's some books that I bought from Amazon.com that I just never read because I already have it. I don't have to return it. There's no time limit. So that's something I really like about borrowing books from the library. Plus, it's free. Plus, it doesn't take up room. I already have so many books, and this allows me to, you know, I read it and then move on. You know, so that's it's really nice. You know, so no hoarding. Uh, another thing I really like about reading books from the library is that. It's slow, you know, it takes hours and hours and nowadays when you watch YouTube videos, it's just five minutes over But when you're reading a book, it's really slow and it's kind of it's almost like Arnold's talking to me, you know, like Arnold Schwarzenegger I'm there with him for hours and hours and hours on end and I kind of absorb and feel his energy Which is really full cool and lastly, I, th I think this is a sad sad thing um, One of the reasons I've been so upset and sad recently is you know a couple weeks ago I got dumped by my girlfriend and uh, I don't think it was anything malicious or anything. It was just she moved away to San Francisco and, you know, she didn't even say goodbye. I'm not really sure why or what happened, um, but it was just so, uh, so abrupt. And it's just like anything you have, you know, or anyone you with, they could suddenly leave for... But um, I think there was this quote by Mario Sosa and it was some people come into your life just so you can learn how to let go, something like that. And uh, I think that really resonates with me because I'm learning how to let it go. So I was really, you know, really upset the last couple weeks. And this week I'm kind of bouncing back a little bit more. But, you know, it's still kind of hard, you know, if you've been in a breakup before. Yeah. Um, let me see. So yeah, that's about it. I think my intention for next week is to, you know, find joy in my daily life. You know, do things that have fun. Um, I really like... So some things I like. I like exercising. Recently, I have had like a neck injury, so I haven't been working out, but um, I've been doing more like swimming and like walking and stuff, so I still want to do that. Um, yeah, I'm just like so, so over the place right now, but hopefully after 10 weeks, um, it'll be better. All right, bye.